I'm Keith Pavelic, the Assistant Director of South Texas Natives with the Caesar Clayburg Wildlife Research Institute at Texas A&M University, Kingsville. Let's talk about land preparation for native reseeding and an ideal seedbed preparation. We've taken this land out of existing vegetation and converted it to a native seed bed. What we're looking for in a good seed bed is ideally a flat, even, and soft, but not too soft land preparation. The tools you would utilize to get this is an offset disc or tandem disc to break up most of the large clods and then follow that with the field cultivator to even out the surface. Although you may not be able to achieve the perfect seed bed because of the tools you have available, this is what you're shooting for. After evening out the surface, you'll want to give the soil a chance to firm up, either by waiting for rainfall or at least letting the soil sit for a couple of days to settle so that you are not sinking into the topsoil. Here are some examples of well-prepared seed beds. And here are a few examples of poorly prepared seed beds. Remember, the more work you put into preparation, the more successful your planning will be.